So I'm going to do one now. Mm. That was scrunchy. That was pretty crunchy, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm wearing my okay. fiercest fashion look. <laughs> Here to talk about um, one of the concerns throughout, I mean, it's head to toe issues mm -hmm. when you do high caliber drag. Um, but for me, it's the right ankle that throughout hours of wearing this specific heel design, um, as, and I love a steep heel because I love the way it stretches the body. What happens is it feels like there's a looseness or like I kick out the foot in a way, mm -hmm. like it loses its stability. Yeah. Uh, it's not that I'm not able, I put a lot of strength and support toward my left, mm -hmm. knowing that's going to carry me through. And I, as mentioned, I had a dislocated knee when I was 18. I'm 34 now and it just mm -hmm. didn't, I felt like once you have an injury, it always kind of shows up and maybe the whole leg line was to affect it. Okay, so we are gonna look at the whole leg line today. We're gonna to yeah. look at your hip, we're gonna look at your knee, we're gonna look at your ankle. Your ankle is being a little hypermobile right now, mm -hmm. and usually where there's hypermobility, there's a, a spot that's hypomobile that's not moving. So I'm gonna to look to see if there is a bone in the ankle that's kind of stuck. If you release that, then, um, the body and the ankle will start to balance out a little bit. Yeah. But walk a little bit and come back, maybe go halfway down and come back. And let's keep our focus on the right ankle. And now you showed me before how you could exaggerate it just to, yeah. to, as a demonstration. I feel of, sturdy here on the, right. you see it's that, it's like that wants to do that in a way. Yeah. It's, I mean, of course so it, it wants it. to immediately collapse or, or roll in or, yeah. or hyperpronate into it the It wants middle. to roll in. And like, yeah. I'm, I know right now because, and if I'm walking shorter steps, I have more control because the steepness, if I'm stretching like that, it's gonna make it a lot harder for me to support that line because I'm already basically on point. Right. Um, so when they're tighter steps, less of an issue. But when you're walking with people at an event and they're wearing a sensible shoe, they're not thinking, I have to keep myself mindful that you're wearing a, a dangerous shoe. Like that apparatus is going to cause maybe a bit more patience to get to point A to point B. And they're running ahead of you almost. Yeah, I was like, all right, are we running? Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's um, go into the room. I'm going to um, look at the ankles first. I'll see if there's a correction that needs to be made in the alignment. And then you can put the shoes back on and see if you feel difference. I mean, okay. some of the thing that you were I can both, take them off now. Yeah, that you were both talking about before is that it's this is not a great test because you just put them on just now. Yeah, and you you're not in the middle of a 12-hour shoot. Yeah, my neck, my neck and my my shoulder, this whole mid back area and mm -hmm. neck are so tight. And I recently had an X-ray and it was my my spine is facing this yeah, way. Yeah, so now. you had a forward curve. Yeah, which was not always yeah. the case. I mean, you do have nice length, but you're getting a little bit of a, what What the neck should have is a C curve mm -hmm. where it comes back. Mine doesn't do it, but, and you've lost a, so there's a little bit of rigidity in there. So it's hard for you to ever feel relaxed in your neck. Yeah, it hurts. I mean, my whole so, back is so tight lately. Well, look at that. That takes more time to work on and it takes a lot of stretching, which I can work with you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the feet. And we're going to bring them both back into dorsiflexion to see if they're equal. And so this feels like this is certainly out. So I'm going to come into this spot here. It's funny because you do have a lot of flexibility, but I'm looking for the one spot that's not moving the way it should. Do you feel how this gets tightened here? Mm -hmm. So this side is very flexible. And what I'm doing is I'm doing what's called motion palpation, which I'm working into the ankle. And I'm looking for that one spot that doesn't want to move. And I found it right here. So I'm going to come across. You can come in a little tighter here. So this is the left side first, okay? And then we're going to do the right side. Now I am going to do the right side. That's the problem side. But yeah. um, I sometimes start on the good side first for two reasons. One is I get to go to school on this side and I start to learn what the good side should feel like. There's one little spot here, but then when I go to the right side, the problem side, I'll, I'll know what to expect. Right. And I'll know what the potential is. Do that. That one's fine. Okay, so let's go to the problem side now. 
Yeah, that one was supposed to be stationary. Like it, I don't even think about it, you know. Yeah, this one doesn't even have the mobility. So you see how this comes all the way up on the left? Yeah. And the right side doesn't dorsiflex as much. It doesn't come back because that bone's stuck. Here it goes. You feel it move? Yeah. And I know that because I have my my toes are very long and they've always been bent. They mm -hmm. they said a hammer toe, like when yeah. I was a come, kid. Come back up this way. Do you think that has any effect? Here, come back up. Yeah, Just I mean, I think, I, yeah, I think I mean, you're, so he has a little bit of a hammer toe on both sides and that's the, the knuckles come up a little bit like this. Yeah. And that will prevent the weight from evenly distributing the way it should. So other areas of the body that don't normally take that much stress are taking the burden of more stress than they need to. There it goes, I moved it. You feel at the end it moved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was trying to create space there. Now, another thing I like to do here, scoot back up, is I like to follow this up. So I come up on the lateral compartment and you'll feel wicked knots in here. Mm -hmm. You feel this? Yeah, my whole right calf is, yeah. was tight last night. I was like literally hammering it, trying to get some um, freedom in there. Right in there. Yeah, that should be so tender. super This should tender. hurt yeah. almost. Yeah. It's getting clacky. Yeah, it's getting clickety and clackety. Is that a muscle? Yeah. Or a tendon? Okay. Right there. Yeah. Now I'm almost out at the fibula now. Following up here. And I want to check the psoas too. So you pull your knee up like this and lift your knee towards your chest. Oh, you want me to yeah. lift my knee? Ah! ah. That's the spot. Okay, sorry. That's a horrible pain. Yeah. Lift the knee up one more time towards your chest. Oh, Do you yeah. see I'm on that muscle? Uh -huh. So I'm on the psoas major right here. Am I supposed to relax? You can't. You won't be able to relax. It's horrible. All right. So now... My hips are very crunchy. Yeah, so now I want you to put your heels back on and walk again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like not Actually, before forward. you do that, let me do yeah. one little tap. So I have a tapping instrument, okay? Yeah. I just have to turn it on. It hasn't been on for a while. What was that? That was your psoas. That's nasty. That's horrible. But that's all connected down here. Horrible pain. Okay. So come jump in the heels again. And then I was stretching in the morning and at night, I, I, I usually will do all of that and that and like try to really hang my head over the bed and try to create the sensation of pulling this poor body back into a nice, well, I usually do my left first. Um, anyways, uh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> and were you able to achieve oh, some of so crunchy. Yeah. I think that the, as I'm getting older, I'm noticing that I need to really eat more jello or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> they feel too stiff sometimes? Yeah. It feels more solid. Yeah, I mean, I put it in its place. It I was, mean, it was not symmetrical. Yeah. I mean, it feels like a different... These shoes are very steep, so it's yeah. like a different leg right now on the shoe. Like, my muscles are like, what's happening? Yeah. I mean, I moved it over. I, I, I was Here, I can put it back. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to it being wherever it was. It just feels like more... Sturdier. Sturdier? Yeah, I'd say... I'd say tighter, but not to... Tighter is not the word. Stable. Use. Stable is probably the better word. Yeah. It doesn't feel as like loosey goosey. Good. Because it was always like flopping, like falling out underneath itself. That's interesting. So there you go. Hmm. We could do more. I mean, you're in New York yeah. for at least a little yeah. short time. So we could do a few sessions and try to really get it to 
The other thing that you could work on for stability is you can get a wobble board. And we talk about Send this later. Yeah, and you could try different things. So a wobble board is like a circular piece of wood or they make it out of plastic, it doesn't really matter, fiberglass. And there's like a half of a volleyball underneath. Yeah, or yeah. picture that, right? You should. And then you can get on and you could practice just being unstable. So you're really trying to create chaos. It's not trying to uh, create balance. You're putting yourself in an unbalanced world of being on the wobble board. You can also put your foot in the middle and try to, and one thing you could do is you could stand between a doorway. So you have the support of the doorway. Yeah. Um, and then you could switch legs and do both ankles. But what it'll do is it'll teach your ankle to fire in all different directions. Yeah. Because when you get in heels, you're gonna have to fire in all different directions. Yeah. If you're just in your sneakers, it's easy because yeah. wherever you land, you're getting support almost. Yeah. But you're almost walking on a tightrope of balance when you're in a heel and anything that's not perfect and you could start over your heel and sprain it, or yeah. it could just go the other way. Yeah. And you're tall to begin with, so uh, you with how many inch heels is that? It's a lot. Probably a six inch <laughs> heel. It's yeah, a six it's inch a proper heel. heel. I don't know how many centimeters that is, but but it's a lot. Yeah. So lie on your back, but it just means that it's that much riskier. Yeah. And we want to at least have strength to support that. Yeah. And you'll find that if your ankles are start to get healthier and stronger and stabilizing, you won't get pain up into the hips, knees, back as much because it, it won't translate forward up and create other problems. Okay. So now I'm going to take this away and I'm going to look at your neck and shoulders next, okay? okay. Yeah, you really get tight. Ooh, it just sucks up there. Right, right in there. Do you feel that one right there? Yeah. All right, so th this one would pop if I adjust it. Is that okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna do one now. Mm. That was scrunchy. It was pretty crunchy, wasn't it? Yeah. Did it feel okay? Yeah, I feel like a dessert. Okay. So here's a, I felt like a meringue. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I watch a lot of baking shows. Oh. Now I'm going to have you slide over towards me. Slide over towards you? Yeah, just we'll be on your back and move this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to crisscross your arms. Okay. And I'm going to reach under and have your face turn this way. That place is always fun to get because I can't reach that. Like there's yeah. a lot of things I just can't do. You shouldn't do, right? Mm. Mm. So those are a few. Mm -hmm. Lie on your side facing me this way, please. Okay. Ooh. I, we, head to? Yeah, you're in a good spot. Okay. So I'm gonna just set you up a little bit so I can release your low back. Good, hold on here. Mm -hmm. Put my hand in here, touch your low back. Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. That was a good one. Oh, where that? was it? What? Did where you was up? that part? Yeah, there? It's right here at L5. Yeah, it's low. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the, the main nerves come out of the lower back, yeah. form the sciatic nerve branch that comes down the back of the leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the glutes, through the hamstrings, calves, heel. Mm -hmm. So we need to get that That's released good. and get that nice. Yeah. You could feel that though, go. Yeah, yeah. Come this way. Same thing, different side. Yeah, exactly. We'll mirror image this way. And thank you. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna slip my hand under like this, mm -hmm. pull this up like this. Got it. That was 
it's like yeah. we're crunchy over there or full of pop. You had a big pop, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Let me just see what this feels like now. It's back in. Okay, that's good. Just see what the toes are doing, okay? okay. These are fine. You must open them and pop them a little I bit. Always pop them. Yeah. Yes, none of these are stuff. These feel good. Come stand, see how you feel. More. <laughs> <laughs> How's your neck? It feels better. I mean, this is better doing that. Yeah. Because a lot of the time this has been like limited. That hurt usually hurts really bad. Because a lot of the time I'm just trying to like walk my own hands up here like that to correct. Out. Because it feels good yeah. and it feels more open. Okay, good. Do you feel like there's any left up there? I feel like it's more of a, my muscles are tired. Yeah. From being all like that. Just the tightness, I almost feel like the muscles need a little love now okay. around that area. I don't think so. So my thought is you leave it here for now mm -hmm. and then you come back and we'll do another one. We'll do okay. a follow up. Okay. Okay. Because you don't want to overdo it either where you wish you would have stopped earlier. You know, yeah. There's that point of diminishing returns mm. where it feels like you've accomplished a lot, but then if you do too much, it starts to get achy. Yeah. So yeah. we're ahead of it now. Can I ask you about my hip? Yeah. Just so, the hip. It, yeah. I don't know if that crunching is more of a tendus. Well, I did I get a good pop out of that okay. hip. Yeah. But tell me where you feel it. It's only when I stretch and in the morning I'll do like I'll fan my, I'll put my feet together and I'll basically do this position where I open my knees and it's like pop, 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 pop. Create of that. Lie on your back. Rice crispy vibe. Lie on your back and show me where you're feeling it. Is it on the outside? I mean, if I'm really, I'll even do it this way. I might even do it now. No, we're good. Um, it's it's like right inside. The it's pivot. funny because I was right in there before. Yeah. Oh, that's a weird bit. Right in there. Yeah. It feels like. Do this. Bend your knees. Both Bend knees. knees. Okay. Push your knees together, and I'm going to pull apart. Okay. Sometimes that'll pop the pubic bone in the front. <laughs> I heard a little pop on yeah. the side. Yeah. It's so just weird. an old, old school adjustment. Old hip. <laughs> no, that's fine. So right in there, mm -hmm. you'll regret that you asked me about this. I am. So what I'm doing is I'm right here, up in here, and I'm digging in, and there's a nasty trigger point right there. Mm. That's it. So I'm right at the insertion. There you go. This is not pleasant. Stand, try it again. Scared. <laughs> Trying to regain my height. <laughs> you have it. You're tall. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just okay. swinging that. Yeah. I mean, I feel still, I'm sensitive yeah. from this, that touch. It's because I do, I am, w with my flexibility, one side is not as flexible. And I'm a, I can't remember, I'd always have to have to um, be in like a yoga mat to see what side, and it might be my left side. But because I'm so flexible on the other side, I'm always like noticing that as I'm getting older, it's mm -hmm. become crunchier. Like things are feeling just like everything, you know, you're feeling it. Yeah, you def definitely feel it. Do you do a psoas stretch? What's that? Is okay. that when I do this on the mat? No, that's more of um, pigeon pose. Okay. So psoas stretch, you're back up. 
and take as or even more, back up more, and lunge as far as you can with, with, the, with this one. No, let's do the um, lunge with the left leg. Okay. Keep coming, right. keep coming. Bigger lunge and drop your knee down. So drop the knee out, and then you can let your foot relax. So you don't have to be on that. Like here? So, yeah, let your foot no. unfold. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 Now, this hand stays up here, mm -hmm. and this one reaches back, and lean back now. So by stretching the front of the hip, it opens it up? It'll give it more space so it won't catch so much on you. Okay. And that psoas muscle should be probably stretched every day by someone that feels that type of pain there all the time. Now, if it feels wrong, like it's injured, you got to back out. Yeah. But you might really like that stretch. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this And what is that'll my... do, though, is that'll give you space in here so that it won't catch so much. Because I don't feel any issues yeah. on this side. I'm not even like thinking about that. I felt like a lot of my stuff was happening on my right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that was just because of Yeah, you, what? you know, we're, we're not balanced people. Yeah. Like, you know, our left side of the body doesn't match the right side of the body. Our left nostril doesn't look like our right nostril. Our palms aren't equal. Nothing's equal. Tell that to my doctor. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but so your hip probably just needs more work on the right than the left. Okay. Where the left might be naturally symmetrical and and uh, more flexible and more symmetry and the right just isn't the same as the left. Yeah. And that asymmetry is what you notice all the time. Yeah, yeah. So the this... right needs more love. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yay. Nice. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. I'm really glad we got my neck okay. and my back because yeah. that was something that was so exciting. And it went too. well, too. Yeah. Yeah. Significant. A big release. Oh, see, there I go. <laughs> Doing my own fingers. <laughs> thank right. you. Thank you.